fastest way to improve my English fluency, how to speak like a native English speaker, and how to sound more natural when I speak English. Stay with me for the answers of these questions and a lot more information about the best way to use the shadowing technique in English. Welcome to Sunfluent Maria. I am Maria and I share weekly English fluency tips and tricks to help boost your confidence and fulfill your highest potential in English. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Today we're talking about the shadowing technique in English, or as I like to call it, the imitation technique. What is it? Why is it probably the best way to reach fast fluency in English and how to do it the right way? Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click on that like button down below to support me. Without further ado, let's get into the video. When it comes to speaking English fluently, shadowing is often considered one of the most effective techniques. Now, what is shadowing actually? Shadowing is simply you imitating someone else's speech, usually a native speaker's speech. So basically, you are repeating what they said. So what's the catch? How can this shadowing make me speak and sound more natural in English? Well, of course there's a catch. When we say repeat, imitate, shadow, or however you want to call it, we mean to repeat it exactly as the native speaker said it, with the same intonation, melody, their voice, and the rhythm. This helps to train your ear to recognize various sounds of the language and learn the correct pronunciation. In addition, shadowing can also help you to pick up on the rhythm and the flow of the language. As you become more familiar with the way native speakers use their language, you will be able to mimic their speech patterns and start to sound more like a native speaker yourself. What makes shadowing such an effective tool? The reason why this is probably the best technique for mastering your fluency faster is because it helps you develop that natural flow of speaking. What does this mean? It means that you will be able to feel the language as you speak it. You will feel the rhythm, feel the words connect with English on a whole other level. If you practice long enough, you will develop that sense for hearing and noticing the melody and rhythm of English communication. What's the best part about shadowing? Well, you can do it anywhere. You don't have to be at home. You can be on your desk. You can do it on, in the car, in the office, or even at the beach. I used to practice this method a lot and I still do it today. It's interesting because it doesn't feel like studying or practicing English, but it's actually very fun. Because I like to watch American TV shows, my practice was always during watching an episode of a TV show, usually Friends. So I would lay in my bed, play an episode, and begin. Now, let me show you how to get started with shadowing and how to do it correctly. First, you will choose an audio clip that you want to shadow. This could be a conversation between two people, a news report, or anything else that you find interesting. Now, please know that it is important that whatever you choose is interesting to you. Don't do it just for the sake of the practice. Find a voice that you like listening to, a voice that resonates with you. If it is a conversation between two people, choose the person you want to shadow. Also, it is crucial to have a transcript of English subtitles along with the video or audio so that you can follow through. For the sake of this video, I chose different clips from the TV show Friends. I will show you a short clip with different sentences and I will shadow along with it. Now, once we have our video and audio ready, I will listen to the video clip several times so that I'm familiar with the content. Then I want to play it and then turn off the volume and shadow the audio, repeating everything I hear out loud. 
I will try to imitate the accent and pronunciation as closely as possible as I can. Let's see how that will look like. Okay, so I will play a video from France. I will listen to it and then I will repeat exactly as it says on the clip. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. Let's do it one more time. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. And one more time. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. Okay, let's do the second example. It doesn't happen to every guy and it is a big deal. It doesn't happen to every guy and it is a big deal. Let's do it one more time. It doesn't happen to every guy and it is a big deal. It doesn't happen to every guy and it is a big deal. See how um, here the, the stress is on. It doesn't happen to every guy and it is a big deal. Okay, let's do the third one. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. One more time. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. Na na na, na na na, na na na. See the flow here? Okay, let's do it one more time. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. Okay? And that's it. All it takes is five to 10 minutes a day. Continue shadowing for as long as you can. And then take a break. It's important to take a break. Remember to keep practicing regularly so that you can improve your skills. Now, in order to do shadowing the right way, it is crucial that you are present when you practice. Don't let your mind wander around and just vaguely repeat the phrases or the words that you hear. This, if you do it like this, it won't give you any effect if you just copy and paste on what you're hearing. Listen to me carefully. Be present. Listen closely and pay attention to what you're listening. Stay concentrated and do it as long as you feel like you're there. Once you see that you're losing focus, pause and continue another time. Finally, one very effective tip that I have for you is to record your shadowing practice. So what you do is you basically record the whole practice. After you finish practicing, you will listen to the recording and then you have the chance to correct your mistakes and do it better the next time. Trust me, you will notice your mistakes. You will notice how your voice um, increases or decreases. You will notice your intonation and pronunciation, how they sound, and then you will try and correct yourself in your next practice. And that's it. Now, my question to you is, have you ever tried the shadowing technique? If you did, let me know if you like it and let me know if it works for you. And if you've made it until the end of this video and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up to support me. Until the next video, I wish you a wonderful, beautiful day. Stay zen and I will see you then.